Hi, everyone. My name is Nina Padaville. I'm the Strategic Threat Advisor for State, Local Government, Education, and Healthcare. And we're here today to present you know, a series that we're creating around adversary art. Uh, the purpose of this series was to add a spin to our original threat intelligence and get you the same information that you need, but in more condensed version of our full briefings that we typically offer. So you know, we hope you enjoy this brain break and creative art series. Uh, today, we're going to have a quick chat with the artist Robert Bruno. And again, thanks for joining us, Robert. Uh, do you mind just taking some time to tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, sure, and yeah, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, my name is Robert Bruno. I am a commercial illustrator. Uh, my work is largely rooted within the sports and entertainment industries. And it was kind of an honor and a privilege to uh, work with your team, creating uh, some illustrations depicting your adversaries. Awesome. Well, today we're highlighting this adversary known as Wizard Spider because of their recent involvement in cyber attacks against one of the, the largest K-12 school districts in the United States. They are mostly known for their core development and distribution of a pretty sophisticated arsenal of criminal tools. You might've heard of, you know, their original commodity banking malware called TrickBot, uh, but, you know, since 2018, they actually pivoted into more of the big game hunting ransomware space using two ransomware family variants, uh, Ryuk and Conti. And so, you know, questions for you, Robert, as you were drawing Wizard Spider, what were some of the elements of the threat actor that you decided to integrate into this drawing and why did you do so? Yeah, I mean, the description was super informative. Um, I wanted to give uh, this adversary like a, a wizard, uh, almost like sorcerer type visual aesthetic. Um, so keeping with the existing uh, adversary art that you guys have created, uh, I gave him like a wizard's uh, cloak. I, you know, kind of pumped up all the shadows and then I centered on uh, him kind of conducting this kind of magic, almost like spell, um, kind of representing uh, manipulation behind the scenes and kind of working and pulling on infrastructures. Um, you know, you mentioned schools, uh, so I, I kind of included some books in the background, a uh, spell book in the foreground to all just kind of convey uh, this idea of manipulating and kind of conjuring of information. Yep, and that's exactly right because, you know, the reason why we gave them the crypto name Wizard Spider is because of their original commodity malware, TrickBot. So, you know, wizards do tricks. And so yes. when they got started with TrickBot in 2016, that's kind of um, how we gave them that cryptonym. And since then, they've expanded into including a much larger repertoire of tools, like you might have heard of the Anchor Backdoor, uh, the Sido tool used for exfiltration. They have two different spam bots they use to originally get those types of malicious uh, pieces of malware into environments in the first place. And of course, you know, the Conti and Riot Ransomware uh, families that I mentioned. So, you know, just like Wizards expanding their repertoire with more tricks under their sleeves. Um, so, you know, another question for you, what similarities with Wizard Spider do you have that compared to, you know, other villains or other past actors that you've drawn? Um, yeah, just thinking of villains um, from my world within like entertainment and comics, uh, a lot of similarities to any type of uh, sorcerer or villain that relies on magic or spells. Um, We've seen a lot of that recently with witches in the, the WandaVision series with Wanda herself, Agatha. I think the most obvious one, uh, because of the level of attacks on schools that this particular adversary did, was Voldemort from Harry Potter, um, who was pretty much trying to do exactly that. Um, a few others I thought of just in the nature of kind of manipulating and twisting uh, information with tricks. I thought of Lex Luthor, from Superman, and I also thought of Ares uh, from the first Wonder Woman film. So I think there's quite a bit that um, are kind of characterized by these kind of uh, traits. Totally. The only major difference that I can think of is that this adversary is financially motivated. Um, True. They're not seeking some type of larger superpower, but yeah. um, millions and millions of dollars, and they continue, Wizard Spider specifically continues to up the ante with the types of ransom demands that they collect from victims. Mm -hmm. um, but again, you know, the reason why we target them is because of their recent focus and successful targeting of a K-12 school district in the U.S. And so, you know, our recommendations here from the Intel advisory team is to continue understanding these adversaries, types of tools that they're using, you know, how they're getting into your environment in the first place, 
and then taking the recommended steps to avoid that same type of behavior from happening in your own environment. But again, you know, thank you again, Robert, and thanks everyone for watching this short break. We hope you enjoyed uh, this little piece of time to talk about adversaries and art at the same time. So make sure to check out the other pieces that we've created that help highlight the adversaries targeting the government and academic institutions. And of course, if you want uh, more of a personalized one-on-one -on -one meeting, feel free to reach out to my team.